Ladies and gentlemen, at the beginning of every month, come rain, sunshine, or plague, I do a fundraiser for Thor News to keep me up and running. And we got two and a half days left to go, and I got $710 left to raise. So if you would like to contribute, I would really appreciate that. If you want to say thanks for the great job I did in March and February, that would be wonderful. But please take care of yourself and your family first. And if you got anything left over, kick it my way because I will be keeping you guys informed all throughout April. And with that, let's get to the really bad news. We are fast approaching a million infected human beings on Earth with the coronavirus. Um, USA in the lead with 213,000. Italy bringing up number two spot with over 100,000. And of course, at no point in time have we ever trusted China's numbers because before they scrubbed the internet of all the Wuhan videos, clearly the situation was much worse than they were letting us know. Yeah, China did not handle this well. The United States has not handled this well. C'est la vie, man. And we're at 46,000 total deaths. Uh, and these numbers continue to escalate. Uh, the DOD briefing I watched like a week and a half ago predicted this would peak somewhere around the second or third week of April. So we've still got a ways to go. Today was the first four-digit death number. We had over 1,000 in the United States. And um, look to see those numbers continue. When will the curve flatten? We do not know. The hardest hit spots have been easily New York with over 80,000 cases and 2,000 deaths. And then, you know, I think a lot of that has to do with the density of the population. And I think elevators are an enemy of the people because they're just like cough boxes and those buttons are probably dirty. So if you can, scrub down your elevator buttons or take the stairs. That's my recommendation. But, like, Florida's climbing up the ladder now. And many more states are following. As the coronavirus spreads, a poll shows that nearly 60% of the people in the United States believe the political system is designed solely to serve the rich and powerful. Oh, really? You think? No way. Man, I know there's still 40% of people out there who think the billionaires are, are fighting for them every day. And that is really cute, man. That is really cute. Politics is like the opiate of the masses. I don't believe in politicians. I mean, I believe they're there, but I don't believe that they're there for good purposes. We need a new system. China's divorce rate is spiking as couples emerge from the coronavirus quarantine. And I guess I'm lucky because I get to spend uh, the lockdown all by myself. So I don't have anybody to fight with. Because I tell you what, being by yourself is way better than being in a bad relationship. And with Venus going retrograde in May, I think we're going to see a whole lot of divorces come July. Over the past week, coronavirus infections at nursing homes have skyrocketed. More than 400 long-term care facilities around the U.S. now have infected residents, according to the CDC. A 172% increase in a single week. That is horrible news because the elderly are the most uh, susceptible to having this be fatal. School's out for summer for California. It says that they will not reopen the school this year. Yeah, this is kind of making everybody a little stir crazy, especially this guy who was a train engineer arrested on terrorism charges after allegedly running a locomotive off the tracks in an attempt to hit the U.S. Mercy, a ship docked in the port of L.A. to ease crowding at local hospitals. So yeah, he tried to run a train into a ship to prevent it from spreading coronavirus. That's just, that's, I mean, that's just nuts crazy people going to do crazy things man but i'm guessing from the bylines he missed sorry dude so we had the sky king but i guess this guy is not the train king and in more straight up bad news 
A quarter of the USS Theodore Roosevelt sailors test positive for the coronavirus, but they are evacuating it. That is good news because just keeping everybody on a floating ship is infected seems to be a bad strategy. We learned from the cruise lines. And if March was a dumpster fire, well, I guess April is a dumpster fire that's wearing a mask. And the great mask debate rages on. I think you should wear a mask or shirt over your face or a bandana. You know, uh, I definitely think it's airborne in the aerosols. And um, so when you go out, you know, there's debate. They told people not to wear masks. But, you know, it's a lot of information out there is bad. And I just think you should take the most precautions you can. The George governor is like, hey, I got an idea. Why don't y'all shelter in place? The uh, Mississippi governor was like, hey, I got an idea. Why don't y'all shelter in place? Oklahoma is the last in country when it comes to testing per capita. And just when you thought things couldn't get worse for Zoom, which is a, like a program which allows you to chat with a bunch of people, an ex-NSA hacker just dropped two Zoom zero days on this blog. One of the bugs can allow an attacker to tap into webcam and microphone without permission. And yeah, if you, you know, if you want someone who can always make things worse, it's definitely hackers. But the good news is, I think, uh, there's a karmic element to it. So, you know, I think hackers, the virus will find, the actual coronavirus will find a lot of the hackers who are being assholes and then give them the biz. So don't be an asshole, man. Don't be an asshole. I mean, you, you can try. You can want to if you want bad luck to descend upon your family or your children or your wife or you. Then, yeah, I guess be an asshole. And we'll miss you when you're gone. Asterisk. And I'm not wishing to harm on anybody, but I'm just saying, aren't we all tired of bullies? And as I'd said, I just didn't think 2020 was going to be a good year for bullies, man. Put on the full armor of God, my friends. Lisa Abram, wow, it's Foreign governments and central banks dump more than $100 billion of U.S. Treasury holdings in three weeks to March. On course, the biggest monthly drop on record according to Fed custom custody data. Oh, geez. More horrible news. 2,900 New York City Fire Department members currently out sick so far. 282 members of the fire department have tested positive. This figure includes firefighters, EMS personnel, and civilians. On Tuesday, the fire department responded to 6,000 medical calls. I am deeply concerned about the rapid escalation and global spread of infection, says the WHO director. And CNN has learned that nearly 28% of COVID cases in Minnesota are healthcare workers. I've always been grateful to my friends who are nurses and doctors at home. But this morning, I'm more grateful than ever. Thank you for risking everything to save lives. And uh, Justin Bieber has canceled his concerts. Good job, Justin. But he said that church is an essential service. And, uh, I, you know, uh, well, there was a thing where the Liberty School, the Liberty was like, hey, we're not going to fear this hoaxy virus thing. We're going to have our college opened. And they got a bunch of people sick. And so I'm a Christian. And I think prayer is helps everything. But I do not think people should be gathering uh, in groups. If you have not seen how that is bad, then I guess I don't know what to tell you. Putin says the current situation on the global oil market is a serious challenge for Russia. And yeah, there are a lot of things that are going on. And life comes at you fast because up until 11 hours ago, um, the Florida dude was like, nah, we don't have to shelter in place. It, this basically sums up your 2020 April 1st update. Toilet paper fire. An 18-wheeler in the process of bringing much-needed toilet paper to San Antonio, Texas, crashed on Wednesday after the truck's driver hit a bump. It resulted in a massive fire as rolls of toilet paper scattered across the highway. Well, you know, things are just shitty all over. It's shitty and on fire, plus plague. So, you know. New York governor is closing the playgrounds. 
Man, it's so hard to have fun in 2020. Everything is just heavy. Yeah. Cuomo says that about 16,000 people could die and 93,000 people could die in other states. Look at us today. See yourself tomorrow. President Trump, who originally said we only have 15 cases and that'll soon drop to zero, has changed his mind. And now he's like, we could have 100,000 people die. We could have a quarter of a million people die. And so, you know, the death toll is going to continue to get higher in exponential at exponential rates. Um, and then U.S. intel community in a report to the White House concludes China concealed the extent of the coronavirus outbreak. Really? You think so? You think China lied to us? I don't know, dude. Governments lie. That's just the way it is. And if you believe in government, I don't know what to tell you. Because, like... That's the one good thing about having 50 states is it would be hard for them to uniformly get everybody to lie. So the states have basically had to be honest about the death rates. And so, yeah, this is a real thing. And it's amazing how many people are out there like, this is a hoax. This, they still believe it's a hoax. It's like, dude, I don't even, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I don't know about other people, but I do know it's not a hoax, man. They're are a lot of people who have died and are dying and a lot of people who are on ventilators to breathe and having a giant tube stuck down your throat is not fun in any way. Stock market drops down to about 20,000 Dow Jones style. Um, uh, coronavirus has now killed more Americans than 9-11 terrorists. So, uh, maybe we'll invade Iraq again. Although the like Iran U S proxy war is ramping up again in Iraq, which is just bizarre. Can we can we just stop the in the wars? Can we stop fighting? Pretty please. The sale of spirits are up twenty four percent for the four weeks that ended March twenty first. But this lady just sparked a run on vodka, contru, triple sec, cranberry juice, and lime juice. It's a cosmopolitan mix. She seems happy. Yeah, I don't know. I drank last night. Um, it was fun, and then I woke up, and I was hungover. Yeah, dude, I'm so ready for the era of war and deception to end. Anywho, this has been your bad news update. I am your Planetary Defense Commander. If you'd like to contribute to me continuing to bring the news as I do it, I would really appreciate it. Um, I do the best job I can. I got to Physical address, 5430, Bird Road, number 416, Houston, Texas, 77096. PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Patron. Thank you to everybody out there who has contributed. I got $710 left to go. So I want to say thanks again to Captain Late Night, the Viking Marine, and Hopi Warrior Princess, Jeffrey, Lynn, Susan, Athena, DDJ, JLL, and Max. And just thank everybody out there for all your prayers, your support, the fact that I've been able to do Thor News for so long. Um, but man, I'm ready for, for the fun to come back. All right, everybody stay cool and I will keep you guys posted because it's what I do. Peace out. God bless everyone.